Hey, everyone. Oh, wait, no. Great. <laughs> now I'm here. Now I'm not here. Now I am here. Okay. Uh, what's up, everyone? It is I, DPX. Welcome to another episode, episode 26 of Chill with the Me Cast. Why does it say the connection? Okay, now I'm not dropping frame. Yay. The fucking OBS is so dumb. Anyways, oh. uh, I'm DPX. Uh, coming with you, coming at you with another episode of Chill with the Me Cast. With uh, three very usual guests, uh, oh, Pat Luigi. What's up? Uh, Slash. What's up, mother cluckers? And Squid Wario. Okay. What the fuck what? was that? It's, it's this Fat Albert impression. It's Fat Albert? Uh, I, I, I thought that was supposed to be a Kermit impression. Yeah, because it's just a fat, fat, Kermit. fat Kermit. Fat Kermit. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, uh, so how are we all doing today? Hanging in there, you. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I almost had a mini heart attack because it said, uh, OBS, the little bar was red, which means it was dropping frames, which I was about to fucking lose it. But, um... Yeah, you need me to call an ambulance for your condition? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, see, so yeah, I guess we'll go over what we've been playing. I, me, I've been playing, of course, Smash, but then two new games came out this week. That I uh, started to play. Um, uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate, which is a decent remaster of the game. Very glitchy, but a decent remaster. I, I have it on PS4. Here are the Switch versions. Don't get the Switch version. Um, Wait, you shouldn't do that? No, don't. Because uh, I've, I've heard the Switch version's broken. Which is fucking stupid, because uh, the Switch can run games like Skyrim... Breath of the Wild, Doom Eternal, Doom, The Witcher, but it can't run a game like Sonic fucking Colors on the Wii. I will never understand that, but, uh, other wow. than that, I, yesterday I got, uh, Tales of Arise, right here, actually, uh, I've been playing it, pretty decent game, uh, haven't played much of it yet, um, looked into it, uh, I got a lot ahead of me, it's supposed to be a 45 hour long game, so, uh, yeah, um, uh, don't expect my review for quite a bit, but, uh, yeah, uh, other than that, uh, I was thinking of getting WarioWare, but I never did, and I don't know if I will, but I might. Anyways, other than that, that's all I've been playing. Uh, Pat Luigi, what have you been playing recently? Well, I've been playing Smash and, uh, Mario 3D World. I'm also thinking of probably pre-ordering, um, uh, Mario Party Superstars whenever I get the chance. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, not not much really. We're thinking of doing a like a live stream uh, of Mario Party Superstars when that comes out, where uh, me and a few people, we'll just say me and you three uh, all yeah, play yeah. together on stream and have a yeah, that would be really fun, jolly jang old time. The jolly. We'll have a gay old time. <laughs> uh, anything else you've been playing? Uh, no, that's just about it, actually. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, Squid Wario, or, no, Slash, you're next to, sorry, Squid, but Slash, you're next to Pat. Uh, <laughs> do you, what have you been playing? Splitgate. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. right. I, I have been playing Splitgate. That's true. We did, we actually Played recorded a Mad Lads the other day. It's not, we haven't not. uploaded it yet, but... Yeah, it should be coming soon. Uh, Who? Nothing. Anyways, uh, so, yeah, um, is that, is yeah, that all for you? Splitgate. I'm cracked at Splitgate, I'm just letting you know. Yeah. Um, P Pat Luigi, you got the PS5, you should get Splitgate, it's free. Oh, okay, cool, maybe I'll, I'll get it sometime. Yeah, yes. Squid, I don't know if you can get it, you have, like... PS4, well, PS5. Man. Obviously, you don't have a PS5, but uh, I think Squid probably only just has a Switch. I mean, uh, I have other consoles, but I'm not really a, that much of a PlayStation gamer, though. All right. Um, that moment of silence. <laughs> no, sorry. I was texting someone who may or may not be joining later. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Squid Wario, anything you've been playing uh, lately? Uh. You know, it's just that really so far this month, I've basically had a lot going on. So really, I didn't get around to much playing. But occasionally, I did end up playing Smash with uh, Aunt Sam and Pat. And, yeah. Uh, 
And last night we were playing Uno with like a texting game of Uno called Crazy. Yeah, it's this game called Crazy Eight. Yeah, so I saw you guys playing that. Yeah, yeah. They are... that was with Aunt Sam and Pat Luigi. Yeah, Aunt uh, didn't join because he's probably asleep right now, like a yeah. fucking yeah. noob. Man, freaking stays up <laughs> since like two a.m. or like, something. Like like a you like a like a beta. So why yeah. we we really do bully Aunt Sam on here? Yeah, I feel like yeah. yeah. Or I I'd say we, but it's more just me. Anyways, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, you're mostly busting Aunt Sam's chops. Yeah, with me. if he does make it really easy though, he'll say a like he'll say a bunch of stupid shit, um, and it's like it gives us the perfect opportunity. Um, <coughs> Disney. But yeah, Aunt Sam, if you're watching this, wake your ass up right now, or Mickey Mouse and Winnie the Pooh are gonna come to your house and haunt you. Yeah, Aunt what? Sam, if you're watching this but you're still sleeping, but you're somehow also watching this while you're sleeping. Uh, like, if you're dreaming about watching this stream right now, uh, it's not a dream, except it is a dream. Wake up so you can be on the stream. What am I saying? All right, let's move on. Um, uh, so, there was a PlayStation showcase uh, on uh, Thursday, and it was announced a week beforehand, but it was when it was announced, it was sort of like random. It was like, okay, th this is kind of strange. Uh, it's not even being advertised as a state of play. It's just a PlayStation showcase. Um, but when it happened, we got some crazy, crazy announcements. Some of the stuff were rumored for a while. Um, they're still very exciting, though. Other stuff I did not expect. Uh, like the first thing was, uh, rumored for a while, um, but still very exciting, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Remake. That was rumored for a while, but, um, again, uh, it's still very exciting. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is a world-renowned, critically acclaimed game. And the crazy thing here is that it's a PS5 launch exclusive, but Knights of the Old Republic is known as being, like, an Xbox game. So that's a big get, um... Good Wario, thoughts on Knights of the Old Republic remake? Um, I'd say, I'd say the remake is definitely good. I mean, I'd say, like, it looks like something that I would be interested in if I were to be a PS5 player. I mean, especially also because I am a huge Star Wars fan anyway. So, but um, but yeah, I think if I were to have a PS5, I would probably get that game maybe. Mm hmm Slash? Thoughts on Knights of the Old Republic? Remake? Slash? Earth to Slash. Oh. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Bro. Yes. Wait, uh, you... what'd you say? Thoughts on Knights of the Old Republic remake? Oh, uh, it looked sick. I love... Darth Revan and I know a lot about this stuff, so it looks really cool. Yeah, they barely showed anything, but like that's true. They barely showed anything, but like all they, they had, the all they had to do is show Darth Revan, and it's like boom. Exactly. Uh, Pat, uh, you uh, what, what do you anything you have to say about a uh, Knights of the Old Republic remake? I've mentioned this before. I don't follow Star Wars, so no comment. Okay. Um, the next game is a new IP, uh, called Project Eve, um, which is interesting, uh, we got a good look at it, it, would, it played for, a, like, a good while, uh, and I've heard a lot of comparisons to, like, Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, Nier, and it is very similar to those games. Oh, or at least it looks very similar to those games. Uh, and yeah, it, it, it looks really good. Um, don't know when it's coming out. Yeah, interested in it. Uh, Squid Wario, anything on uh, Project Eve? I'd say, again, looks interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean, really, like, I don't know if this would be a game I'd be into, but still... Like I just by seeing the trailer, it looks it definitely does look interesting. 
Yeah, it looks like a game that Platinum Games would make, but they're not making it. Uh, it's a company called Shift Up, which I uh, looked into them, and they've never made a... This is their first game. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, interesting. Uh, Slash, what are your thoughts on uh, Project Eve? It looks pretty cool. It looks like an interesting post-apocalyptic concept, you know? I don't know. I thought it was cool. Yeah, uh, Pat Luigi, thoughts on Project Eve? It looks good. I like that it's open worlds, and, um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. That's fine. Um, next game we got on here was a look at, uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, or Wonder World, I don't remember, but it's a spinoff of the, uh, of the Borderlands games. Um, this was revealed back at Summer Games Fest, and then, like, kind of revealed again at Gearbox is E3, uh, and yeah, Gearbox had an E3, in case you forgot, uh, I definitely did, but, um, and, uh, yeah, it looks good, it looks like a, uh, Borderlands game with, a uh, sort of a mix of, like, you know, RPG elements, um, and, uh, yeah, it got a release date of, like, March... 20... I, I feel like it's either 22nd or 25th of next year. Well, I want to say 25th. Probably says it at the end of the trailer, but, uh... Yeah, uh... Squid Wario, anything to say about Tiny Tina's Wonder... Wait. Wonderlands, I was right. Uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands? So, I'd say... 25th, I'd say this, by the way. Sorry? Yeah, I'd say this title seems cool just by the, the designs and everything seen in the actual trailer um it might be like a fun game to play for any, and really for anyone to enjoy so if i were to have a ps5 i think i'd be interested in that game maybe all right uh slash uh and anything to say on uh tiny tina's wonderlands like you said, it like looks like Borderlands. It looks like it could be really cool and be another classic. So hopefully it's Poggers, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pogger! And uh, Pat Luigi, anything on uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands? I'll have to say, it looks good for a first-person shooter game, and uh, there's a lot of interesting bosses in this game. So yeah, maybe I'll uh, I'll pick it up, maybe, when it yeah, comes out. Yeah, going to pick it up. <laughs> um, also, uh, I said Maybe. One of you guys possibly open up the stream just to see how you. things are going. Alright, anyways, the next game was uh, Forspoken. If you remember the PS5 showcase last year in, like, June, uh, if you remember that good. game from uh, from Square Enix called Project Athea, yeah, that's what this game is. This uh, It got a name change to Forspoken. And it looks really good, actually. It's, like, the... Oh, there's a lot going on. The The combat seems cool. You know, the characters seem cool. A lot of cool stuff going on in this one. Uh, Squid Wario, thoughts on Forspoken? I know this has been talked about for a while, but um, after seeing the trailer, like I'd say Forspoken seems like a game that many people are probably going to want to play. And it's been talked about for quite a while, so I'd say... Maybe this game will be a successful one. Yeah, Slash, thoughts on Forspoken? You know, it looks pretty cool. Um, that's the... Wait, I'm making sure I have the right one. That's the one where the lady gets teleported to the other place, right? Yeah! Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It looks... The combat looked um, pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, Pat Luigi, thoughts on Forspoken? I think the game looks good. I mean, it's got a lot of, again, another open world game. It looks really good. All the abilities and stuff that are in the game and stuff. And the grappled ability, I think, was good in the trailer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's... I think that might be PS5 exclusive. I don't know if that's cross-gen. Um, Fuck. If, uh, if it is cross-gen, I might pick that up. If it's not cross-gen, but say I got a PS5 at the by that point... I'll, I'll pick it up uh, for brought two scenarios in which I would pick it up but uh yeah um the next game we get is uh Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six 
Extraction, which I honestly don't care about. In fact, I kind of forgot that this game was happening and forgot that they actually delayed it to January. Um, I, I, I don't care. I don't, I don't have anything to say about it. Uh, Squid Wario, anything to say about uh, Rainbow Six oh. Extraction? Yeah, I mean, this game, I don't know if this is something, even if I was really into PlayStation, I don't know if this is something I'd play, you know? I mean, for yeah. the people in it, go for it but like personally i don't think this would be a game i'd get into all right uh slash uh thoughts on rainbow six extraction you know it's it's your rainbow six you know yeah not really that much to say. A little side note i before i ask pat luigi for his thoughts actually you know that'll probably be quicker than what i'm about to say so pat luigi thoughts on rainbow six extraction nah i'm good <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, no, the funny thing is, the Rainbow Six games were always, like, grounded in realism. They're always, like, they, they used to be just, like, you know, shooting bad guys and stuff. Now they're, like, about fucking shooting up aliens. Like, so it, came, it came a long way, you know? Um, yeah, and, uh, and that's, like, I find this game maybe not as good. Like, I don't know, it just seems like just something more silly. And uh, just... Well, again, it has, it has its audience, you know... But it's like a live service game, like, and I can't be mad at it for being a live service game because the Rainbow Six games, that's what they are. Uh, it's not like Avengers where it's like it had so much potential, but you made it a live service game. This Rainbow Six Extraction, like, that, that, that this is supposed to be a live service game, if you know what I mean. But mm -hmm. that, that just makes it unappealing to me and probably you guys as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Moving on uh, to one of the bigger announcements. This was leaked uh, a little bit beforehand, but uh, Alan Wake is getting remastered. If you guys don't know who, uh, what Alan Wake is, it's like this survival action horror game um, that got overlooked when it came out, but sort of became like sort of a cult hit um, for the Xbox 360 and PS3. I got on like either the Steam Summer Sale or Winter Sale and uh, played it, and it's fucking solid. It's really good. Um, and it's awesome that they're remastering it for PS4 and PS5, and it's coming out on October 5th of this year. Mm -hmm. Like, that's... Mm -hmm. They revealed this game, and then said, oh, yeah, it's coming out in a month, by the way. So that's fucking... That's awesome. Um, fortunately, I don't know if I'll pick it up, just because October's a busy month for games, man. Like... There's a lot coming out in October, so I don't know. But if that wasn't the case, I I would probably pick this up. Uh, Squid Wario, thoughts on Alan Wake remastered? Alan Wake remastered. Um, yeah. So, so honestly, this game probably is going to be a good game. But um, again, not sure if this is something I would really play. But but like I'm sure like it's going to be a game that a gamer will possibly enjoy you know mm -hmm. uh slash thoughts on alan week wake remastered uh you know looks pretty cool hopefully it's uh faithful to the original while also switching it up a little bit you know yeah uh pat luigi thoughts on alan wake remastered well i mean even though the uh trailer is a minute and a half long i mean that's a game that it's a game that i don't think i would actually play so for people that kind of like that stuff you do you i guess mm-hmm uh, the next game we get is a game I actually kind of forgot wasn't already on the PS5, and, uh, I don't know why they keep delaying this, considering it's Grand Theft Auto V. Now, don't get me wrong, GTA V is a fucking fantastic game. There's a reason people are still playing it today. But, it's GTA V. This game was announced in the June presentation last year. How is it not out yet? I, I mean, it's GTA Five. It looks good. The this the one improvement that kind of caught my eye was like the switching between characters, uh, and how that's a lot faster. Uh, that seemed pretty cool. But other than that, it's GTA Five just now on your PS Five. Uh, Squawario, thoughts on GTA Five? I mean, it's pretty much going to be like just the other GTA games, really. Like it's just they add it to PS Five. But overall. Like, I'd say maybe, I mean, I'd say, like, I'm sure, like, people who are really into the 
GTA franchise will certainly like the game for sure. And yeah, because they are they already like the game pretty much. But to me, it's just nothing new because it's basically just the same game but on a different console. Yeah. Also, you guys want to see GTA Six? Should stop buying GTA Five because then it's like okay, like. I mean, right, exactly. you, keep, you keep buying GTA 5, it's like, well, why do we need to make a sixth one? Exactly. so many people like this game. That too. Yeah. And, like, don't get me wrong, uh, GTA 5 is a really good game, but, like, it's been, like, when did that come out? Like, 2013? That one, no, it, sure. it was 2013, because it, it won Game of the Year uh, in 2013. <laughs> so, it, it's time to stop buying that game. Uh Slash, uh, thoughts on GTA 5 on PS5? Yes. Alright, uh, uh, no, uh, what, what are you saying? <laughs> I thought um, it would be funny if I just moved on from that. Uh, that would be pretty <laughs> funny. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I hope, hopefully, GTA 6 eventually decides to, you know, happen. But for now, I mean, I already have GTA 5 on the PS4. I mean, what? Yeah, PS4, so it's like, I don't, I'm not gonna... I'm going to do the thing, you know. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm looking to the future at this point. But I'm excited that I'm going to be able to play it. Yeah, uh, Pat, Luigi, thoughts on uh, GTA 5 on PS5? Give me a sec. All right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, okay, I've never actually played the game when it came when it first came out, but when it comes out for PS5, I might give it a shot. So, yeah. Alright. Um, and then next up is uh, another interesting one, and it got it, it, it got me for a second, because it said Marvel. And I'm like, are we seeing Spider-Man 2? And then it showed Guardians of the Galaxy, which... No, no. It, well, it, first it showed Crystal Dynamics, which, like, oh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Which, Guardians of the Galaxy looks really good. I'm... I'm definitely picking up that game. This game looks good. I think the characters look stupid still. Um, it if it, it has that like odd stunt double feel that uh, uh, the Avengers did, but like the gameplay looks good. The action, the like characters. I mean, like as in like their personalities, not how they look. Um, all seem good. Uh, yeah, it comes out in, like, a month, though, so, uh, yeah, uh, Squid Wario, uh, Squid Wario, uh, thoughts on, yeah. uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? So, yeah, and I think we talked about this a while back, too, right, because... Yeah, we did. It's like, but, um, but yeah, I think it's something that, that looks exciting, but, like, I don't know. It's kind of like mixed reactions towards the franchise, and the game, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Um, uh, slash thoughts on um. Thought. Th sorry. Thoughts on uh, what game were we? Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians. Guardians of the Galaxy. Excuse me, guys, but I gotta go for a couple minutes. I'll, I'm just gonna mute. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah. All right, spread. I can't believe Peter Quill had a heart attack. I'm never going to recover. Uh. Okay. Hey! Okay. Look who we got here! E. Hey, ML! That's a letter. Everyone, it is yeah. our newest member of the MeCast, ML. Uh, we're in the middle of talking so about the PlayStation be... Showcase, no. uh, so we'll get into sort of introducing e. you in a, in a sec. But, uh. Yeah, um. So, Pat Luigi, thoughts on Guardians of the Galaxy? I gotta say, it looks pretty pretty cool, judging by the trailers. That might be a game that I actually might play. Alright, um... Uh, ML, you watch the PlayStation Showcase, right? Yeah. Uh, we're talking about uh, the part where they showed Guardians of the Galaxy. Thoughts on that? It looked really cool. Once I get a PS5, that may be one of the games I consider playing. All right. Um, the next game they showed, uh, Squid Wario's uh, here as well, but he had to step out for a second. He's muted. Imagine his surprise when he sees that you're that you have joined the me cast. Now. Yeah. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. the next game, we'll go we'll go quick here. Uh, the next game is uh, 
Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt, whatever the fuck it's called. It's like a uh, battle royale spinoff of Vampire the Masquerade's uh, Bloodlines. As a very weird and long title, but uh, the the sequel to Vampire Masquerade Blood fucking I don't want to say the full name every two seconds, but the sequel to that has been delayed multiple times. It's still not out yet, and it's probably because of this game, Blood Hunt. I don't know. I don't really care. Uh, it looks like a cool setting for a game, but like the, this PvP game, I don't really care too much. Uh, uh, Pat Luigi, thoughts on Blood Hunt? I mean, it looks weird, but it's probably a game that I wouldn't play, so yeah. Um, uh, Slash, thoughts on uh, Blood Hunt? Mm, I mean, it looks cool if you're into that, you know? Yeah. It's not and- really my thing. ML, thoughts on Blood Hunt? Yeah, it looks really, uh, just by the looks of it, it looks really cool. And it looks kind of fun. Alright. The next game, uh, we see Deathloop for the uh, 500th time. I'm serious. They showed this last year at, it was announced back at the Bethesda's E3 2019. But then they showed gameplay at uh, the PlayStation Showcase in June of last year. And ever since then, They've shown it every single fucking state of play, every, you know, Game Awards, Summer Games Fest, Gamescom. They keep showing this game, and it comes out in like a week. Watch them show it again. It comes out in a week, so soon they're going to stop showing us, unless there's DLC, so they'll never stop showing it. But, like, (laughs) yeah, it looks good. Um, I'm not going to get it because it's a PS5 exclusive, so I can't get it. But if I did have a PS5, I'd probably pick it up. Um, it looks good. Uh, yes, uh, ML is here, by the way. Um, oh, hi. Welcome to Hello. the Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Deathloop, it, I'm, like, seems like to have a cool concept with the whole, like, you can't die thing. Um, you're, you're in an infinite time loop, so that's pretty cool, but, like, they keep showing us. It's, like, stop. Anyways, uh, so yeah, Squid Wario, uh, you just got back, but, uh, uh thoughts on Deathloop? Uh, Deathloop. Was that first person uh, shooter by Bethesda? That, yeah, that game I think seems kind of cool. I don't know. It, it just seeing the trailer kind of gave me almost thoughts of like the Fallout franchise in a way. I guess just because of like the designs of the games. But um, but you know what surprised me about Deathloop is that this game is being developed by a uh, Bethesda. Bethesda. Which, Bethesda. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that company like is the company developing the game and like now that company is owned by xbox but keep in mind i guess like the development started a bit before microsoft actually purchased the company well it wasn't really it wasn't that it was more like i mean yeah that is true but it was more that this was licensed as a ps5 exclusive or timed exclusive and those deals Mm -hmm. were made before microsoft bought bethesda so they don't want to break the deals uh uh, ml thoughts on death loop Alright, uh, he's pretty good. Alright. It looks good. Yeah, um, the slash thoughts on Deathloop? You know, I always thought a game about, like, where it's looping would be cool, you know? And, yeah, this game looks pretty cool, and it's a fun little concept. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pat Luigi, Can thoughts on Deathloop? Um, it looks cool, I guess, but not a game that it's interesting for me. For other people, they they can play that game, I guess. <laughs> the long like, trailer, yeah, you I'll play that. It. That's another thing. It's Not only trailer. have they shown this game so many times, but they showed like a good, like bit of this game. It's like, relax, all right. The people who want to play this game, uh, that are able to get it, have probably already have it pre-ordered. So. Relax. This next game was weird. I keep forgetting this is this was in here. I don't even know how to say the name. It's like Kid A Amnesia Exhibition. And the trailer didn't... I have no idea what the game is going to be like. I have nothing to say here. Squid Wario, anything to say? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, that game is probably not going to be, like, the best out of what was announced, though. So I really... Don't say. So I say I don't really have that many thoughts about it, to be honest. Yeah, uh, ML thoughts on 
I don't even remember what the name was, but uh, Kid A it? and the Exhibition. Yeah, th th thoughts on that? I mean, it's not really a game I would you know be into, but like other people are into that, you know, type of thing, like type of game, I'm sure. It's just like, it just seems like not my type of game. Yeah. Uh, slash thoughts on uh, Kid A Manija. I remember the name now. Thoughts on Kid A Manija Exposition. Oh, he's deafened. Okay. Uh, he's probably busy at the moment. Uh, Pat Luigi, thoughts? I guess I'll go. Um, well, I mean, even though the trailer is like 30 seconds long, it really didn't show that much. So it's not a game that I would play, and I'm not sure if it would do well. All right. Slash, you're yeah, back. yeah, I'm done. Thoughts on. Yeah. Kid A Manesia. You know, it's a game that exists. Yeah. Those are my Speaking of games that exist, uh, this was the second game on here that was rather forgettable, I feel. Uh, I say that, I'm not saying they're going to be bad, I'm just saying, like, you know, of everything on here, these were probably the least memorable things. Uh, there's this one game called Chia. Not really much to say here. Uh, Squid, Wario, anything to say? Yeah, uh, again, like, honestly, this game, like, not saying it's going to be a bad game, but, like, I don't know if it's going to be, like, one of the best games that was announced. So, really, I mean, I hope for the best for this game, but, like, I don't think it's going to be, like, the best out of what was announced in this showcase. Yeah. ML, thoughts? On what game again? Chia, fucking whatever, yeah. right? Eh, like, that didn't really, you know, grab my attention. Yeah, um, uh, slash thoughts on Chia, or Chia, whatever the fuck? Chia, 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 Chia pets. It looked, it looked okay, you know? Alright, uh, I thought, I thought... no, sorry. <laughs> Pat Luigi, thoughts? Um, it looks kind of like Zelda a little bit because it's got because you're on a boat or whatever. It's Road. like in a place like Zelda, kind of. So, you mean like uh, Wind Waker, uh, Wind Waker style. Yeah, it's kind of like Wind Waker a little bit. Yeah, that's like the first thing I thought. Like this is like you know definitely like a Wind Waker kind of inspired. Yeah. yeah um. that. Especially with like, the deco, the leaf he used to glide, whatever the character's name is. Like, that was definitely, like, not, like, Wind Waker, but, like, you know, kind of, that's definitely, like, almost like a, kind of, like, a Zelda thing. I think they right, used, yeah. like, somewhere in that game. Yeah. Um, all right, so moving on, we get the last few announcements. We'll try to speed through these, because even though they are probably the best announcements, uh, this, but, th but then there's this one, uh, uh, Shit, uh, no, no, Uncharted 4 and Uncharted Lost Legacy, uh, is coming to PS5 and PC as, like, the Uncharted, uh, I don't know, like, something Thieves Collection, uh, it's, it's something like that. Uh, pretty interesting, uh, not much there, though, uh, Squid Wario, thoughts? Um, yeah, that game, I think is gonna be cool, like, yeah, I'd say this game is more than likely going to be something that many of the PlayStation gamers are probably going to be interested in, to tell you the truth. Yeah, uh, ML? I think it's like, you know, it's not going to be, like, really, like, big, like, on PlayStation, but it's going to be, like, you know, I guess, you know, like, a good throwback to, you know, fans of the series. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> slash? Uh, yeah, I thought it would be a good next step, you know. I think it looks pretty cool. Pat Luigi. I have no thoughts, really, so... Alright, uh... Yeah. Then oh, this next game, this next game got me fucking shaking. Panther! Uh, we see a Marvel logo, and then we see Insomniac, and I'm like, oh, now we're seeing Spider-Man 2. And then we cut to a bar where there's a bunch of people all dead and the bar's all like, all the tables and chairs are all broken and shit. And then we cut to a guy going up to another guy sitting at a bar table and his fists are all cut up. And then you see 
fucking Wolverine's claws come out. I almost... I was on a public transport bus while watching this. I almost fucking screamed. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> Wolver- we're getting a Wolverine game made by the same people as the Spider-Man game. That's insane. And I did not expect that. I don't know how uh, Insomniac and Sony uh, uh, snatched uh, Wolverine. Because uh, Sony owns Spider-Man. They obviously don't own Wolverine, though. So this is interesting. Um, and uh, Wolverine's probably actually my favorite Marvel superhero, if I'm being honest. So this is definitely really exciting for me. Uh, we didn't get any information on how the game plays or anything, though. I could imagine it being so sort of like a hack and slash, or but also okay. being linear. Flash uh, like, this year. <laughs> Also being like a uh, linear game similar to Spider Man, but I don't know. Uh, we didn't even get a release date. But Squidward, thoughts on Wolverine? Um, I'd say this one came to me in surprise, honestly. Um, like again, another like another Marvel title that was announced for this, but um, but yeah, like honestly, this one came to me in surprise, and I'm sure it's going to be a really good game. So I have high hopes for this one. Yeah, ML, thoughts on Wolverine? I'm pretty much, you know, pretty much speechless on this. Like, it's just not, it's happening, you know? Yeah. Slash, Same thoughts thing. on Wolverine? Yeah, I was like, bro, they didn't just, and then they they did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pat Luigi, your thoughts on Wolverine? I mean, when the uh, clause came out, I was surprised, but once we get more information on the game, I I might get it. Yeah. And then the next game we saw was uh, Gran Turismo 7. Uh, it looks good. I don't have much to say about it. I'm. It's probably going to be good, but uh, oh, games like this, I don't have much to say on, really. But, you know, Gran Turismo 7 looks good. Uh, Gran Turismo has... Uh, is mostly a fun series, a fun car racing series. But yeah, uh, Squidward, your thoughts on Gran Turismo 7? I mean, to me, it's just like most other racing games, to tell you the truth. But, like, I'm quite certain that, like, this game will probably be enjoyed by many gamers. Mm-hmm. ML, thoughts on uh, Gran Turismo 7? Am I... Big on the whole like racing. I'm not really like no I'm trying to win the course. Um I really don't have any thoughts on that. Alright. Um slash thoughts on Gran Turismo seven? Um, it looks it looks sick. I like um I follow the Gran Turismo games, so it looks pretty poggers. Yeah. Uh Pat, thoughts on Gran Turismo seven? Um yeah, uh I'm not really interested in those kind of like racing games or so, but yeah, if, if it looks good. All right, yeah. Um, then this next game, we see Marvel, Insomniac again, and that this time obviously it's Spider-Man Two, and then we see Fuck, Spider-Man, yes. we see Miles Morales, we get a voiceover as well, and then we My get boys. Venom. Venom's gonna be a part of this game. I'm fucking excited. We're not getting it until 2023, and this is also going to be a PS5 exclusive. No cross-gen, um, hopefully by 2023. It's projected by 2023 that PS5s will be more readily available for everyone, which is fucking and ridiculous, you would have by the way. Then, but, before uh, then. Yeah, uh, I'm... Again, Spider-Man on PS4, the first one was fucking incredible. That game was awesome. Uh... This game, the sequel, you know, th- th- you also get to obviously play as Miles Morales, and Spider-Man Miles Morales is really awesome too. So, uh, yeah, and yeah, I'm excited for this. Squid Wario, thoughts on Spider-Man Two? I'd say yeah. This is probably gonna be better than like the original or Spider-Man game on PS. So, so yeah, I think this game will probably be epic. Um. Uh, ML, thoughts on Spider-Man 2? This looks really sick. Like, I've never, I've never played a Spider-Man game, but if I, if I eventually, you know, get to its 5, I'm, uh, this would, like, definitely, you know, be one of the games I pick up, you know? 
Yeah. Uh, slash thoughts on Spider Man Two. It looks it looks fucking awesome. Uh, and Pat Luigi, thoughts on Spider Man Two? We are Venom. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I'm I'm very excited for this. I think it's very disappointing that we have to wait like a year and a half for the game to come out. But uh, other than that, I'm pretty excited. All right. Um, and then uh, last but not least. Uh, we get a, a pretty long look at God of War Ragnarok. Uh, and I love the first God of War game, and this looks sick. Uh, I don't I don't know what to say, really. It just looks awesome. Um, uh, and we also got to speed this along. I'm excited for God of War Ragnarok. Uh, Squid Wario, thoughts? I apologize for the background noise. I'm sorry. That's fine. There's some background noise for me too. Yeah, God of War game. Your audio's yeah. fucking up. Yeah, that's what I hear. A back, I'll vacuum in the background. No, that's me. Oh. I'm gonna have to mute myself for a second. All right. Yo. Still not muted, but whatever. First barking dogs now a vacuum cleaner. What do you guys want to talk about? Right, We're going to talk about the game. So oh, cool. I was sharing my thoughts about the new God of War game. So what I was trying to say was that I think it was interesting to see the trailer. And and really, like, overall, I think this is, like, a game that a lot of people are probably going to want to get. So, yeah. Uh, what about your thoughts, guys? Yeah, ML, what are your thoughts? Uh, I've never played a god of war game ever yeah neither so, have i Mr. i don't know I know, people, I know a lot of people who are into this game who are into this series but i personally know never played it or i never really know anything about it or i mean i've heard stuff about it, but you know i never you know like experienced or played it so i understand you know if other people you know i like, hyped for it yeah Mr. Game Vault, your thoughts? No, I, I I think it looks sick. It's been um I think a while since we've gotten anything from this game. I'm not 100 percent sure about that, but yeah, it was nice to see that it, everything is coming along rather nicely, you know. Yeah. And Pat Luigi, your thoughts? I I like like ML said, I've never played a God of War game, so I have no thoughts. Sorry. All right. Well. All right. Now that we're done with that. Yeah, the showcase was awesome. Uh, moving on now. Uh, Our discussion did... took as long as the um, discussion, the, the showcase. No, it didn't. We, we we were sort of bullshitting around for a good few minutes first. Um, uh, okay, uh, so, yeah. Uh, ML, welcome to the MeCast. Yeah, welcome, buddy. Yeah. Hey. Uh, That's a me. <laughs> Any uh, anything you want to say? Is it was? Do you have like an opening speech you want to present? Speech, 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 speech. Uh, it's an honor to be here, and I look forward to being a big part of this team for continuing with the meat cast and the yep. meat cast in general. Uh, so yeah, expect yeah. ML to be in more content um uh anyways we'll go over what we've been watching um i uh really haven't been watching much there's uh what if that dropped on uh, that drops every wednesday been watching that really good and then uh yesterday i watched malignant this new uh horror movie it's on hbo max and in theaters and it was pretty good uh, i made a review for it squario anything you've been watching mm-hmm. So, so really, um, I'd say the shows that I've been watching, I mean, it was mostly sports and games. Like, I've been just on top of sports lately. Dude, but, the Yankees uh, lost last night. Yeah, that makes me happy. But, Thanks, um, Squid. Fuck you. But a couple <laughs> nights ago was the opening game of NFL with the Cowboys and Tampa Bay. Go good game. Cowboys. But, yeah. Um, but really... 
I haven't been really watching much because, as I said earlier, like a lot's been going on so far this month. So I really haven't gotten the time with movies or shows too lately. Okay, ML, newcomer. Uh, what have you been watching mm-hmm. lately? Well, again, this month's been you know, kind of crazy for me. Um, one one big movie that I watched recently was uh, Shang Chi. That yeah. was. That was good. That was, like, that was a whole new level. Yeah, your audio is getting a little muffled, by the way. Um, may I just be close to the okay, mic? Now, okay. Now, now you're good. Uh, anything else? Yeah. Uh, I think we just got finished Loki. Finally. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, what did like you think of Loki? Uh, it was really strange, but I really like enjoyed, uh, like this, like you know the character. Yeah. Uh, slash, anything you've been watching lately? Mm, no. All right, Pat Luigi, anything you've been watching lately? Well, I haven't been really watching movies, but I started um, Thirty Rock on Netflix. It's a funny show. All right, cool. Um. So yeah, now we can just talk about bullshit here. Uh, so yeah, ML. Uh, in case you don't know, you missed uh, the first bit of this episode, but uh, basically it starts with us being like, "Hey, how we, how you doing, everyone?" Uh, and we go uh, ask how we, how we're all doing. Then we, uh, then we go around uh, saying what we've been playing. Then if there's a pre-recorded or pre-recorded, if there's a predetermined topic, we talk about it, and then um. And then we just sort of bullshit around. Uh, yeah, this is the part of the show where we just look around and oh wait, we got to we got to talk to him about pigeons. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Welcome yeah, to the meatcast. What are your thoughts on I, pigeons? I, 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 oh my lord. <laughs> my thoughts on pigeons. Yeah. I fucking hate them. It's it's our signature question, ML. What's your thoughts about pigeons? I hate them. I hope they are. I hope they get extinct. Or you're out of the meatcast. <laughs> All right, bye. Yeah, your tenure didn't okay, even last, uh, like, didn't even last an hour. We haven't even been live for an hour, and you joined later. So, like, your yeah. tenure lasted way less than an hour. Yeah. Oh, we're joking. Uh, you know, I used to think the mm. word tenure, like, I didn't think it meant it was, te- I didn't think it was ten year, but I thought it meant someone worked for a company, but for ten years. Really? That's what I thought tenure meant. <laughs> Great. Yeah, a little, uh, uh, the more you know. Um, I get banjo. The more you banjo. So, uh, <laughs> ML, thoughts on jitters? Oh, my. Jitters? Yeah, jitters. That's the Animal Crossing character? Yo, you know who he is! Yeah, yeah, I know. Of course, I know who he is. I play Animal Crossing. I know my shit. Slash oh. hates it when I bring up jitters. By the way, so yeah. is he like kind of a jerk? Is he? That's why well, like, he's kind of well, like he's gonna be a jerk, but he's just kind of like weird. He's kind of awkward. Yeah, character. but it's all right. He's jitters. Yeah, um, shut the fuck up. Slash hates when shut I bring up jitters. Fuck up. Uh, we we gotta bring all the fucking in jokes to ML now. A- no, ML, what? He's what, a new recruit. Yeah, ML. What do you think is the most epic movie of all time? That's not how you do inside jokes. Uh, I'm trying to think of a really bad one. Uh, why? Well, he's a, well, he has the right idea if he's thinking of a bad one. Most epic movie, Shark Tale. Mm. Nah, he's right. You're wrong. No, you're Hi. wrong. It's Space Hi, Jam. Ah, uh, he's Loki, right? I like Space. I like Space Jam. Space Jam is the most epic movie of all time. Of course, I, I don't even. I'm not movie. even saying it's bad. You literally did. Shut five up. Five seconds ago. Shut up. Uh, you literally I just said really bad movie, but you literally just said it was bad. The second no, most cool. epic movie of all time is probably probably Shark Tale. And then third is probably Space Jam Two. The Emoji Movie. <laughs> no, no, the Emoji Movie is not epic. Not even Everybody. in an ironic way. <laughs> I was, go- I was gonna say The Room, which actually. Oh, hi, Mark. I, I, I wouldn't even say that's the most epic movie of all time. That's probably just the most epic. No, not even epic. James just the, the greatest 
failure. Holy thing of all time. What? Not f- failure. Are you kidding me? The room is fucking yeah. awesome. I thought we were talking about James Corden. What? Yeah. what? Yeah. Dude, yeah. why were we that talking was about you James who, Corden? No, we weren't talking about James Corden. You probably brought up James Corden. No one heard you. James. Right, Slash has a thing where like he responds to James Corden's tweets. Yeah. Is, uh, I got a reply from someone telling me to shut the fuck up. Shut the, the fuck up. up. Did you re- reply I back love- being love- no you? I love Twitter. Um, yeah. Do you want to see a meme? Do you want to see a meme? Do you want to see a meme? Oh, great. No, they're, just, they're not going to see a meme. We're, we're doing a, a podcast here. So you see that meme what that you just sent in the group this? chat? They uh, can't see that. So they, no, they can't see that. The like the, uh, our viewers can't see that. You just sent right. something, and they don't know what we're talking about here. And the crazy thing is, is that I'm gonna be editing this, and I'm not gonna add that photo. Okay, well now they, now they see it because. <laughs> You've been outsmarted. Well, you know what? I'll yeah. outsmart you by, uh, by, uh, making, by removing the footage from here and just making it basically audio only. Just, okay, uh, great. Ruin the, ruin the video, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely ruin the video. Now let's look around for something to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Fruit? Why are you showing us fruit snacks, Slash? Yeah. Fruit snacks. Um. Well, fruit snacks are pretty epic too. Uh, are we all oh, showing nice our faces snack. now. Wait, shit. ML that hasn't shown his face to the me cast yet. Hey yo, ML, what's up? That's ML for you, everyone. If hey, you watch oh. my uh, we can't hear you. We still can't hear you. Wait, can you guys hear him? Or is that just me? I can't hear ML. Squid, Pat, Slash, you able to hear ML? Kinda, yeah. Wait, you can hear him? What the fuck? Why can't I hear him? Do I have him mute? No, I don't have him muted. Speak again. Uh, you suck. Okay, now I, Why the fuck... What <laughs> happened there? I can hear you now. The fuck? Why did that happen? Also, fuck you. You suck. I'm kidding. Uh, so, yeah. The, uh, welcome to the MeCast, ML. This is, uh... This is chilling with the MeCast for you. Uh... George Washington... Nah, but it's not old, good old Ronnie, so it, it ain't gonna work. Uh, this is this is so strange. The 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 silence is so weird. Okay, this is weird. I can't hear anyone. I'm afraid to leave the the call as well because I'm the one streaming it here. Do I, I probably have to, what I did to ML is I muted him and unmuted him. So speak, Slash, I just did that to you. Chad, why? Yeah, what the fuck, why is that happening? Speak, Pat, Luigi. Chad. Hello. Speak, ML. Stop. Do you guys like Chad Washington? Yeah, he's, Well, Squid's uh, muted for some reason. You know, uh, that I can't do anything about. Um, there he is. Squid speak. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. What the fuck? Why can't? Why was John. it? Why was it uh, acting like that? This episode um, is strange. Yeah. What a good entry maybe, point for ML guys, here, guys. What I'm thinking of doing is maybe we should just when it, when we're not speaking, we just mute that way, like no one's audio cut out. Um. Yeah. I guess. 
Um, so, uh, ML, you bring up something random to talk about. We'll talk about it since you're the newcomer. Fuck my shit. I can't hear you at all. I have to mute you and unmute you. Where's my cursor? Okay, there it is. He wants to talk about that penguin? Oh my gosh, Pingo. Oh yeah, yo, uh, ML. Apparently Squid Wario looks like Pingu without his glasses on. Oh great, I'm gonna start with this now, I'm gonna start with this now. I said apparently, I don't, I didn't say well, if that was true or not. Because he's the one that started that, like, a couple years ago, Pat. Yeah. Aunt Sam started What's that? Up? Yeah. Yeah, Aunt Sam started that. Why, oh, because... What the fuck is he doing? Why isn't he in this call? He better wake he's his ass up then. Bitch. I mean, I'm it's almost him. 2 o'clock. I'm ringing his ass. But yeah, Aunt yeah. Sam, the funny thing is that Aunt Sam, so it was a couple years ago, um, and this was probably before he was Sponge Mario, but, um, but yeah. All right, he was Spong but, Mario once. Yeah. Yeah. And even before then, he was, that's when he was Sponge Yoshi, but, um, but it feels like so we long were, ago. Sorry. But yeah, um, but Aunt and I were in class together, and um, the funny thing is, like, I don't know, I was taking off my glasses because I think I was just, just wanted to clean them or whatever, and then suddenly he's, like, laughing, so I'm, like, asking him what's so funny. He says, you look like Pinku without your glasses on. <laughs> I guess that is kind of funny, but, yeah. like, yeah. So... So, uh, weather, huh? How's it going, everyone? Great. Uh, ML, I hope you know, like, this is just about every episode for you. If we're not doing this, we're talking about a bunch of random shit. But, you know, sometimes we just can't think of random shit to talk about. Um... Well, it's not usual that we spend 30 minutes talking about a specific, like, one thing, but... Uh, the one episode, we talked about the Game Award nominees for, like, 50 minutes. And, yeah, there's a video on Chill with the Meekast clips of that. And it's... It's a long clip. It's a 50-minute long clip, you know? Um, yeah. How was, uh, I, I like your, uh, what's your favorite Kirby hat since, uh, ML's Kirby hat, uh, you know, this is profile picture. I can't speak today, but everyone, what's your favorite Kirby hat? What? Stop! Speak again. Or don't speak again. This is so fucking weird. Why is... <laughs> okay. Okay, so my shit wants to act like this now? Everyone, no. speak again. Hi. 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 My lonely moment. Save, bitch. Wow, Pat Luigi, you're really making an ass out of yourself. Ah! Hi. You did there. Yeah. A few side belt credits. Why did you change your icon to donkey, Pat? Donkey! Donkey. Donkey! Donkey! I felt like it. So we can say Kirby hat? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of ridiculous. I'm trying to think of like the most ridiculous and absurd. Wasn't there... Wasn't the, wasn't the sleep Kirby like really stupid? I mean, it's, it's alright. I mean... He's like, a hat on. I mean, I like the. Okay, I have. Okay, no. The one where he takes out Kirby. Uh, King Didi's uh, ability. He looks funny there. Right? Yeah, I like that one. I like the. I, I like the Mike Kirby. I like the fact that, like, he sings so bad that it kills everything around him. I also like the. It's Jeff Kirby where uh, he put everyone in his pond and he eats them, basically. It's pretty messed up, but. Yeah. Now I think about it. 
I remember that was his final smash and brawl where he would just put everyone in his pot, dirt, cook it, and then bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yep. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sweet Guys, Mario, what's right. your favorite uh, Kirby hat? Or Kirby copy uh, ability, rather. That's really the question. Hey, yeah, the Kirby Is hat. Is it worth hat? Yeah, of course. But, um, but yeah, I think, no, nah, the Kirby hat I like the best is the one with the Pikachu because that's actually because the funny thing is with uh, Pikachu when Kirby's Pikachu and when he's like shooting the electric out Kirby it literally sounds like he's saying fuck you like in the game no joke oh, yeah. fuck you <laughs> I mean I know I know what he's really saying Pikachu but like because of like the music and like all the other sound effects it just makes him literally sound like he's just saying fuck you fuck you you know you Kirby would swear on live TV. It's all right. Bowser That's... says the N word in Mario Kart 8, so. It's oh, bad. yeah, and that one trailer. Also, look at my pick. Yeah. So now you're Phineas? Yeah. You know, you're stuck and that, is that, right? And that's like a really cursed Phineas as well. Like, showing, uh, showing him from there. Want to know what's really cursed? I'm sorry that I'm telling you guys this. Phineas and Ferb in live action. Probably would be cursed, yeah. Yeah. Don't look that up, because there are some concepts online of that. Ah, uh, Perry the Platypus. Oh, that will look fucking terrible in live action. Actually, yeah. no. Actually, no, no, no. Never mind. Per Perry the Platypus probably actually has the most normal character <laughs> in Phineas and Ferb. But if I want to see live action <laughs> Phineas... They'll have to yeah. just make his head a, a normal head. Yeah. Yep. Um, also, you never asked me what my favorite Kirby ability was. That's right. Uh, what's your favorite Kirby copy ability, Pat Luigi? Um, either the sword or the ninja. The ninja is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, slash. What's your favorite Kirby copy ability? I don't have one. I hate all of them equally. Wow, that's that's pretty lame. Uh, I, like, I remember in uh, Planet Robobot, if you scan the Kirby amiibo, uh, there you get like you get to play as Kirby, but like he has his move set from Smash, which is pretty cool. What uh, the fuck? Oh, I, I think what I said was pretty. Understandable. Well, I don't get what's going ML on. is talking and it sound, he sounds like a vibration right now. Guys, move to the What? Bro, why is everyone's audio so shit? I don't know. Bro. It's not just me who's noticing this. Okay. No, because like earlier when I asked, is anyone able to hear ML? Uh, you guys were like, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? No, we could there. It's like right now he sounds like a vibration. It's really weird. Okay. Yeah, I can't hear him at all. ML. Mo. One second. Okay, I, I heard you there. There he is. There's I heard that, yeah. I heard Mal. That's his name now. Mr. 5886. What a fuck. I don't really know what he said there, but it sounded like he just told you to shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> mm. Okay, this is, this is, what do we talk about, or should we just end it? I don't know. Oh, I have an idea. I know exactly what we should talk about. What? what? Guys, guys, guys. What if James Corden was president? Okay, I think we're oh, gonna God. end it now. Um. Anyways. National Carpool Karaoke Day. So, uh, yeah. I, I, I think this episode, is, this episode has definitely run its course. Um, You've run your course. You're going to tell me that, as you just said, what if James Corden was president? Uh, it's an interesting idea. What if, it, what if he was? You know, it could be funny. So I think we're going to do outros yeah. now. Uh, ML, uh, since you're the newcomer here, where can people find you? Not in real life. But, like, anything you want to plug here? Uh, uh, I guess you can check out my YouTube channel, ML MML Dumplings. I I post there sometimes. Once in the blue moon, 
you'll find shit content there, but I guess you'll find enjoyment of me being an idiot, me being stupid. Okay. Uh, yeah, I Very forgot you had a, out of that somehow. I forgot you had a channel. Uh, I didn't. Yeah. Um. Uh, slash. Where can people find you? Anything you want to plug? Um. Of sure. Yours. Find me. You can find me on the next Hot Ones episode. I'm gonna be there eating oh hot wings with John Evans. <laughs> with hot questions and even like hotter wings. Jack, Pete Davidson and. Who else was there? K and Peel. I'm gonna join them. Key and Peel. Yeah. Um, what did you uh, guys think of the Candyman movie? Ooh. I'm just kidding. I didn't see it, but I want to. I don't think anyone else, aside from you, have seen it though. Um, Pat Luigi, where can people find you? You could find me in Danville, my stepbrother Ferb. <laughs> All right. Where can people find you on where social you- media? I- I'm joking. Um. Uh, people can find me on YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, and my Discord server. And as of right now, I have nothing coming up. All right. Lomao, what a loser. Nothing coming up. Squid Wario, where can people find you uh, on social media? And anything got coming up? Find me up your nose with the rubber hose. What the fuck? That's Yo, nice. my guy. Nah, I'm I'm messing with you all. But in all seriousness, um, yeah, just subscribe to my YouTube channel, and right. I do have a Discord server. But yeah, you get the idea. All right. Um. I think I get the idea. Um, 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 um. Oh yeah, and me. Uh, you can subscribe to me, DPX Solo, on YouTube. Follow my Twitch if you're not if you're watching this on the MeCast. Follow my Twitch, DPX. No, twitch.tv forward slash dpx underscore solo. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, join the MeCast Discord server down below. I got my own podcast on SoundCloud. DPX talks for about an hour. And if you're uh, on Twitch watching this, uh, the whole one of you guys, um, be sure to go to the MeCast and watch uh, the full upload of this stream. So, um... Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll try to do these bi-weekly. I know it's been three weeks since we did the last one as opposed to two. We're going to try to do these bi-weekly every Thursday, Friday, or Saturday um, at around the same time. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Hopefully be back in two weeks. Bye. Yep.